next to your generation. And masturbation and pornography is making sure you will never preach it. Huh? You don't know. That's why. God has raised you as a sister to raise a pure breed of young ladies. Huh? But they lost in your heart. When you see a young man, your heart will be shaking. Oh my God. I just found out recently that sisters suffer this thing. Immorality more than the guys. The only thing is that a man practices his own faster. But a woman, oh my God, sisters, no. Meanwhile, God has called you as a pure breed. But your heart, your heart is the is is like the heart of a harlot. The only thing is that you come physically and dress well like a mighty sister. But in your heart, you know that you are so, too dirty. The thoughts going on in your heart. You are fornicated. Almost every day you fornicate with every young man you see in your heart. The only thing is that you still walk quietly, physically as a normal sister. You know, some of you here, you know I'm talking to you. Huh? No young man will pass before you. And meanwhile, God committed to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? A ministry that will preserve, preserve men and in their ministry. You are, probably you are called to preserve a man's ministry. And you don't know how to be. You have not saved yourself. You don't have a message to preach. Satan has made sure. And many times, if Satan sees that you have a message, this kind of message is committed to you. If God commits to you a message to help people out of poverty, He will make sure you are so poor. So poor you cannot preach that message. If He's called you to preach holiness and purity, He will make sure you are so, so bound by immorality. You try everything, he will still hold you. When you are almost free, eh, that's your boyfriend. When I said this, some people will say, eh, we are sisters, we are fellow. Oh God, forget that. Too. I'm telling you, the things we have seen and heard. Oh my God. I, now, I have to go back to basics to help sisters. Because personally, I believe I have a calling to, to sisters that are called to ministry. Even though some of them don't believe it, but me, I know. Any young lady that has calling, that comes around me, begins to manifest his calling. But my training is hard, oh, oh no. My training is too hard. There are many of them run away. Only to come back many years later. Are you with me? Now, there are some people that Satan will bind them with the same thing that they are supposed to deliver their generation from. And rob them of their message. You can't preach it. You are a hypocrite. Let's even assume you went ahead and continued teaching what you are not. There is no authority in the spirit to teach it. The authority of a man's teaching ministry is derived from his living. Are you getting the point? If you think I'm joking, come and teach these people for teach them about prayer for, for one month. Hmm? And see what will happen to them. Then me, I will teach about prayer for 30 minutes. Let's see what will happen. That's when you will find out it's not in what I'm saying. It's about the life that is encoded in my words. The authority that is backing up my communication. Are you getting the point? The very first time Jesus preached in the book of Luke chapter 4, the Bible said that, that this man speaks with authority. He doesn't speak like the Pharisees. It means that there is a history behind what he was saying that made his words different. That have the capacity to push men from where they are to where they can act or take decisions concerning the things that they have. If you help me, say amen. amen. May God, may Satan not rob you of your witness by the life of immorality in Jesus' name. Even if he's not there yet, you better say amen because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Uh, one day we were in a vision and one of our people saw where they sent people from the marine kingdom and their duty is to bring me down. Meanwhile, me as a person, I know I'm a disciplined person. So it's beyond discipline what I'm telling you. Up until recently, I don't, sh I don't shake sisters. So I don't hug. But recently, I've started doing side hug. Stand up, stand up. Recently, I've started doing side like this. How do you hug sisters? That's why, that's why you are where you are. Where you, 
you have hugged face to face. In case you don't know, in case you don't tap current, the brother might tap current. Hmm? I used to say this, and some people will say I'm over saying it. Keep saying, keep lying to yourself. You that finished hugging and started feeling something. Sometimes you don't won't even feel anything. Huh? But the person you hug will feel something. Try it. I say I made the mistake one time in my life. We were living in family house and one sister woke up. We are going for CDS, spiritual CDS. And the sister didn't have time because we used to love the family house. We used to use outside of the family house. So there is so as they were rushing out, the sister did not do her you know, hair well. So I put my hand like this and, and adjusted her hair. That sister started saving her allowance for our marriage. <laughs> Ooh, you better hear me. Oh. You better hear what I'm saying. They were saving allowance. You don't know they are saving allowance for you. Mm, yes. Yes. Yes, mm. they have saved our Alawi. <laughs> if we combine our Alawi together, we will be able to do the marriage. What did I do? My sin is that I went and arranged. That's why I can't use a sister to even do this example. I just, you know, the way a sister has hair. You, you have even plated their hair. You have. sister will be sleeping and be saying, this head they touch me, what does it mean? You, you, are, you are not something I know. Sisters are saying, uh, this thing I'm saying is as sure as tomorrow morning. This thing I'm telling. Because sisters, they pick signs. That's how God created them. They pick signs. They work with signs. A man works with action, but sisters work with signs. How can a young man that is handsome, tongue speaking, full of fire, come and arrange their hair? They will say, God, what, what are you saying? Your servant here. <laughs> Speak, Lord, for your servant here. <laughs> Stop arranging, sisters. Stop hugging face to face. Stop looking into their eyes. I'm telling you, you are not hearing me. I'm warning you. You will go and you will be talking. You know, you look beautiful. And you are looking into their eyes. And the sister is already drawing on the ground. God will judge you, oh young man. I know some sisters are looking away, but you can't deny the fact you two have drawn on the ground. And it's not your fault. That's how you are made. The most spiritual and powerful including my mother that has been intercessor for almost 30 years eh? if I come and tell her I say, if I, I, there is a way I would tell my mother you are fine you are, my mother will start blushing in her old age and you, you are saying you will not I'll, I'll sit down Something that I know you are telling me. do you know how long she has prayed in her life you say, even if you are coming out from dry fasting, oh sister if they arrange your hair, they will arrange your brain too Stop allowing anybody to touch you anyhow. Don't say he's innocent. Is this much more, more innocent thing that will lead to the one that is not too innocent? Even if he's innocent, what of that thing you are thinking in your head? Let me leave you. Maybe because some of you, you don't. Some people have married you before you know. They have done wedding and they have given birth to two children. I did not know. Until they told me that one sister has said that she has married me already and that we have two children. Meanwhile, that is a sister I will not advise my enemy to marry. I said my message is hard.